round out our time here together, could you give us some research-based communication tools that listeners can use to detect deception in online or in normal communication? And what should you do if you suspect deception? The best thing you can do to detect deception is simply try to fact check, try to triangulate with other sources of information. If you can't do that, uh, assess plausibility. Does it, does it sound reasonable? The third thing I would suggest is ask yourself, does it matter? Because if it doesn't matter, who cares? If, if, if it, you know, if it does matter, then invest time. And, uh, you know, if you're making a big investment decision or you're going to make, you know, a big, big commitment or something that's imp- one of big, life's big decisions, do a little research. Um, but a lot of a lot of deception, like voidance lies or Butler lies, right? It's it's, it's not really a big deal. Uh, don't don't worry about it much. Uh, and we're because most people are pretty honest. Most of the time, we're better off trusting people. And if we if we get too suspicious, uh, then we second guess all the information, um, and and it makes it hard to learn anything new. And it makes it hard to have relationships with other people. Uh, so, so we're better off uh, trusting other people unless unless there's good reason um, to to want to uh, do some little self protective behaviors. If there's a trigger. Yes. It- and even if there is a trigger, don't don't presume bad. Just try to look into it open minded. <laughs> 